Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today I'm going to explain to you why your 4NXCI may not be working the way it used to, what the problem is, and most importantly, how to fix it. And we're going to go over a few things really quick. I will not be telling you how to mod your switch or going over things like that. You should already know. As a matter of fact, most of this stuff you should probably already know anyway, but I'm going to walk you through the steps at least when it comes to getting the prod keys part and that's pretty much it. So the problem happens when you drag an XCI onto the EXE, your uh, command window here opens and then rather quickly it closes after maybe 30 seconds or a minute or so and then there is no game. There's no NSP conversion and yeah, it just nothing happens. So I'm going to tell you why that is and how to fix it. Before we get started, I can't stress enough, make sure you paid attention to the whole uh, copyright and piracy thing that was at the beginning. And if you're using any uh, type of, you know, digital game backups, whether they're an NSP, XCI format or whatever, make sure they're exactly that backups or copies of, you know, legally obtained games that you still presently own. If you no longer have them, obviously you shouldn't have these digital backup files either. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys. So here is why your NSP file or your XCI is not getting converted to NX, NSP. And it's very simple. It's because that um, XCI file is requiring a more up-to-date set of keys that you do not have. Your keys.dat file has become kind of old, and that's why um, some of the XCI files will not convert, especially if they're on the newer side. So you need to update this. And you can do it a couple of ways, either get a more up-to-date keys.dat file from somebody somewhere or make your own, which is what we're going to be doing here. If you do decide to go the make your own route, then I would strongly suggest that your switch be a little bit more current or fully current and up to date before you get the keys out. So for example, right now, the official switch firmware is 8.1, but it's only been out for like a week. Uh, or a week and a half or so. So mine was on 8.0.1 when I just got the keys out and then everything worked like normal because nothing out there is really requiring 8.1 yet. If you decide to get the keys yourself, just keep in mind again that your system should be a little bit more current. As of the making of this video, I do recommend that you're at least on 8.0 or higher. Um, if you're going to update your, you know, the system yourself, you can either just do it regular, but of course you run the risk of getting banned. If you don't care about that, no problem. Or you can manually update your system using Troy DeJour NX. I'll put a link uh, in the description to this video, which is the aesthetics channel. Uh, great tutorials here, by the way. So yeah, you can check this one out. So I'm going to assume that you're going to and have already updated your switch to something a little bit more current or fully current before we proceed. All right, guys, so assuming your switch is now up to date or at least more current, our next hub here is going to be at the GitHub page for Lockpick RCM. Since I think 7.0, the regular Lockpick app became Lockpick RCM because this is the one you have to use with firmware 7.0 and higher. As you can see, this one's been updated three days ago as of the making of this video to be uh, compatible with the newer 8.1 firmware that we were talking about earlier. So it's great. It'll work at least all the way up to 8.1. You're going to need to get this bin file right here. And this is just a regular payload. You inject this bin the way you would any other payload. This is not a tutorial on how to inject payloads. You should already know that. Either use a PC, a dongle, whatever method you want. Now I'm going to be using Hackety to run Lockpick RCM and um, it's going to run through you know, the dongle. So I'm going to download it, which I've actually already done. It's right here on my desktop. I'm connected right now to my switch because I'm going to be using the dongle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my SD card, which is already here. I'm going to go into the bootloader folder of the SD card, then into payloads. As you can see, I already have one there. I'm going to take it and just put the newer one and override it. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead, set up my switch 
and then um, we'll continue from there. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and just show you how this is done. I'm in Hackety right now. Okay, you can see there. Hopefully this will focus enough. There we go. All right, and let me go ahead and go to launch. Let me go to where I have my lockpick RCM. And there we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and launch this. And then you're going to get that, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're just going to tap the power button. Okay, so it's going to go through all of that. And then it's going to tell you you've succeeded. And it literally just takes like a second in, uh, in order to do it. So very simple, very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit volume plus so I can uh, go back to Hackety. And that's pretty much it. At this point, it got done reading the keys uh, and putting them into your SD card. And it should be in the switch folder. Let me go ahead and launch my CFW so I can start up FTP and um, and then get the um, get the prod keys file we need out of the system. So I'll meet you back at the desktop. All right, guys. So let me show you how quick and easy this is. Now I've connected to my switch via FTP, um, but you can get this file out however you like. It's going to be on your SD card. We navigate here to the switch folder on the SD card. Let's go into it, scroll down, and you will see the prod.keys file right there. Let's go ahead and bring that out to the desktop. Let's minimize this. I'm going to just drag this over to the 4NXCI folder. And while it's here, let's go ahead and hit F2 so we can rename it. We're going to rename it keys.dat delete everything else, hit enter. We're going to hit yes, enter again. And that's it. We have our keys.dat file. But what I recommend and what I like to do is I go ahead and make a copy of this, paste it right in here. And then that copy, I'm going to go ahead and hit um, F2. And we're going to call it keys.txt. Now, this program does not require the keys to be in this format. But I like to have them both there because other apps and other homebrews for the switch you may come across may ask for them to be in this format in keys.txt. So now I have them both. And right here, I can just back them up to an external, send them up to the cloud or do whatever. So we have a fresh install of, um, of firmware onto the switch. We've updated our 4NXCI and now we have our fresh set of keys. So when you have an XCI here, all you have to do is drag and drop it onto the .exe and everything should be working just like before, smooth as butter. And that's pretty much it. If you ever run into this problem again, now you know what to do. So guys, if you want to best support the channel, at least for now, the best way you can do it is hitting that like button. Don't forget also to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that notification bell so you know whenever I put up a video. Take care and we will see you on the next one.